Russia is actively working to, quote, denigrate Joe Biden. My question for you is Ron Johnson, senator from Wisconsin, is also actively working to denigrate Joe Biden. Are they in cahoots? I'm asking a simple question about you clearly were upset that somehow there was yes, an implication I, I was, that military was, aid was, was being frozen yes. because the president wanted the, an investigation. I just have to talk about Russian disinformation. We have all kinds of examples of fraud, and we know a large percentage of the American public just simply don't think this is a legitimate election. They did it in 2016, and despite all the protestations, all the bipartisan commissions, all the warnings from the intelligence professional across Capitol Hill, across Washington, here they go again. And what does Donald Trump say about this? And the chairman of spreading disinformation. The U.S. intelligence officials released information to us, the public, about Russia once again attacking our presidential election. Press that I was spreading Russian, dis Russian disinformation. That's Ron Johnson, a Republican senator who earlier this year was warned by his own party about spreading Russian disinformation here in the U.S. He's spreading these claims by providing those claims to this man the Republican U.S. Senator from Wisconsin, Ron Johnson. Let me make it simple. Russian operatives communicated directly with Johnson and his staff, spread a disinformation via media outlets like Fox and OAN. OAN, in the back. OAN, please, OAN. OAN, treat me very nicely. And provided more disinformation via Rudy Giuliani. I never said there was no collusion between the campaign or between people in the campaign. Yes, I have. have. No so what country do these guys work for? Despite Fox's claim to the contrary, U.S. intelligence has all the proof they need. You can talk all you want about Russia, which is all a, you know, fake news. Russians interfered in 2016, and they're still at it, as evidenced by this massive hack just last week. The official says this breach looks like part of a campaign by a Russian intelligence arm, and it gets better. Traitorous Ron Johnson is the chair of the Senate Homeland Security Committee, and he's spreading Russian propaganda? It's like we fed him vodka and gave him keys to the car. In his defense, here's what Johnson had to say. Amazingly, dedicated Republicans like Chris Krebs pulled off a fair election with absolutely no evidence to support the bullshit allegations by Rudy, Johnson, Trump, or any of the other traitorous puddle monkeys who find it acceptable to allow Putin in our house. And the GOP, including Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, still won't accept the election results because they betrayed America. Russia hoax is finally dead. Oh, Russians. no. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with taking information from Russians. There's an old saying, the truth shall set you free. But in this case, for these guys, maybe not so much. Yeah, and uh, do something crazy to us. The best is yet. You're in a lot of trouble, Donnie. How do you not put people in prison? Oops. Winning. Yes! <laughs>